Hey guys, I'm Dingsy, and you're watching Casually Slacking on Aveba TV. Coming up in the episode, Causality. Comes out later today, the 2nd of February. I'm gonna check it out. It's a puzzle game where we manipulate the time. It's the publisher developed by Woju, and it's their first game on Steam. Let's see, we full control support. Core blind mode, maybe I should have activated this. Let's see, Unity game, yep. You know it, there's that data now, we're good. So, the game starts to teach you rather usually. Uh, I play this laid back on my bed, pretty cool. The control support is really nice. So, this is the first level. You can't move your character. First I was like, wait, my control isn't working. Then I realized, well, hold on a second. See? The game teaches you here. My, I'm rewinding time. I can just drag this forward and backward. Or just use Q and E. What about the arrows? No, the arrows are not working. Just think. So Q and E it is. A, D? No, only Q and E. Okay, so Q and E. And here's this event in the timeline. On the bottom you see the timeline. Then you can reset and then access the the menu so here i have this shit happening you can watch it in slow motion well as slow as you get and well that's not supposed to happen so here i actually held up i guess the game wants me to rewind in order to learn to play now and now i can click here i can choose where to go i can just click and then the, the arrow just turns in the possible ways it can turn because there is no it's a t so only can be in three ways and now we can forward the time and complete. The level is complete when all the characters reach their destination. And now because I've played for like, uh, what is this? Three and a half meters maybe. And then the first character is blue on a green background. And more like a, I don't know, teal. And the other one is green. I can barely say which is which. That's why I probably should have activated the, the core blind mode. While now I'm looking for close up for like, I don't know, half a meter. Can clearly see the colors but back away probably not and then on the second part we have blue background and we have blue and purple obviously we have beside the green we have orange player as well that clearly is distinguish distinguishable i know i don't know about the green pig though maybe white but then we have white arrows i don't know okay you can clearly see that's not the way it is. Sometimes the levels are so well constructed that if you don't choose the proper way, you end up just a step before the finish. So clearly, you need to know now. Here you see the change levels in the timeline is set. Or if I change and then turn in and then rewind, it's still gonna change. So if I change it now to something different, and then it comes to this time, it's gonna change, so you gotta look out for that. I don't know how to remove it from the timeline here. I guess I can't, I can just... Change it like this, and then turn it back. That's kind of confusing at start, because like... Who turned my arrow? But then you realize, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all my fault. And here we introduce, see? We have a green character on a greenish background, and from 5 meters... I couldn't tell the difference. I know the blue one though, so I guess the other one was the green. What was confusing here, you can see, they face each other, and then just turn back. You can't control those characters, and they move rather strange. Also, enough with the simple shit, let's, let's dive into the more advanced. Now, it's kind of a linear progression, by the looks of it, I see, what, 4 by 15, 60, 60 levels. Uh, the first 10, I'm not sure, wait, let's see. Okay, the first 10 is linear progression. And then the last five of the level are just unlocked when you unlock the next level. So I've completed the 10 here, and then those five, 11, 12 to 15 pop out, but the game automatically put me here. And I realized that there are more levels of the first planet or whatever cube, only when I came out, and I guess they're kind of harder than before. Let's go seven, see. Did we introduce something new here? Oh yes, there we go. There is a pressure platform that activates this. Now, you say, eh, that's not so bad. It's okay, but later on the game activates, uh, introduces switches. Means every time you pass through it, 
something happens and this is the new one uh, about here yeah here's how you we get stuck let's see this level so we need the blue to go there but is this gonna get eaten no it's just perfect ah the green got it and okay we can fix it and then fix it again it's all time you can do time and bingo want to do what's next level there we go we have orange now orange is you might say yeah it's not that good visible but you're good enough okay enough talk here let's go deeper what this is all about hmm, i'm not sure what 11 is about can we wing it and do it on the fly probably not probably not those levels are still we have a pressure platform and two to three players i think we have three players a couple of times we don't want that i want to show you new mechanics next stage here on the blue zone level one we're getting introduced to a strange mechanic kind of Relativity theories. Uh, you go here into this. I don't know. Let's call it a black hole, and then you travel there with the speed of white. And because you travel there with the speed of white, the time for you falls slowly than the time for this dude, and you theoretically, well, practically, come back in time. So there you are. This is you, and this is you going through the black hole. And you both exist at the same time. The paradox is complete. And now, while the game is a puzzle, there is a bit of experimenting here, because you don't go the same amount of back in time every time. I don't know if what depends, what, how big the black hole is, or well, the, the distance you travel here, or no, because sometimes, see, now, this is already displayed if you're gonna go through the black hole the timeline is already altered so you go here and see you just travel quickly and you even travel forward in time this time which is strange uh, you gotta know what the hell so we need to activate this And now we're traveling back in time, as you can see, which is, I don't know what makes sense, but I guess one way or the other, this is how to complete the level. And since later on there will be a lot of those, you're like, hmm, okay, if I go there, what exactly happens? Why am I traveling? So you gotta experiment a lot. And it gets kind of tedious since the levels get more and more complicated. This is still one pressure plate, two players later on. Two, three pressure plate and one black hole and then with the switches man i'm like sitting on my bed like oh my god i just i just can't think of what to do and i just end up experimenting okay let's see what am i talking about on that last level that i just did it was like oh my god and everything is so well timed if you don't do the perfect way, I end up with the green dude exactly here and the time ends because you have only the limited amount of time. Else everything is in place, just one step in like... Ah. Lovely. That's indicating a very good level design. So, here we can see big events happen. So if you just let it die, I like how you just get grabbed in outer space and some Kraken has been released eons ago. Finally gets his revenge on the mindless astronaut that turns around here. Okay, enough talk, so let's see. The blue can go there, the blue needs to be here. This pressure plate is activated by this. So the blue needs to go there. The green, by running this way, is gonna get eaten, so we need to alternate. And by alternate, I mean... Hmm, where was the proper way? We need to be, to be going this way. Because only that way. If the green goes through the black hole, it's gonna come here and then it's just gonna bounce around. If you step on this pressure plate, it's activated. Oh wait, no, if you step on this pressure plate, it's activated, which is... Okay, I guess if you... That's why I was so confused. If you activate through here... Wait, yeah. No. If you activate... 
through this like this this is pressed and i'm okay now i can teleport the green and the green is gonna come here bounce and turn i did it with the blue the blue bounce and turn so i guess it is possible but i couldn't complete the level this way so let's turn and do it like this we got everything okay so the blue goes there the blue needs to be turning in circles i think this is the wrong way no it's okay gonna be just enough so we fix this and just hold and yeah it took me like 20 minutes for just this level yes yeah you turn there you turn there and most of the time you end up just like i said a step in front of this and this is all good and dandy with the one of our doll and then we go to the purple levels the last ones are orange cool so basically the covers of the the levels of the covers of the astronauts or whatever the mindless drones we move around and here new shit is introduced those switches so if you just walk through it you see what's going on so we click once go again click again and this is raised which is a hell on in itself just with one player imagine more and we shall imagine since the next level okay let's do this fast <sighs> we need to run many times through it so gonna do this is that gonna work I'm gonna raise it I'm gonna load. yeah just in time and I haven't completed this because yeah let's see green is to come here we go there they bounce and nobody touches it oh that's could be useful i guess was probably a wrong way to do it but the orange needs to come there the only way to come there is through here i'm gonna call it and the green it's gonna lower it okay let's see what there we go so we need this to be pressed once twice It's gonna be just right. It's gonna press it. Oh, it's not gonna be just right. Can we whoop around? Oh, it's not even gonna go there. Oh man, that was so close. Looked so good. Okay, let's rewind. If the orange is faster. What you saying? The orange can pass now? Yeah, that would probably work. So he goes. And they kiss. And they go. And they kiss again. What if we... I was this like that. So he goes. And just by the time he gets there... Oh, he doesn't even go there. That's okay. No, not okay. Come on, Dingsy. Otherwise, this has to be like this. What if we divert this a little bit? Just a little bit longer. I'm gonna kiss. the wrong way well he's here but the orange isn't 
Uh, no, it's not like that. Some drastic measures. Bot, take a walk. I don't think we need to divert the... The green needs to kinda come on its own there. This dude on the other hand needs to be walking around. What the hell? I see. Okay. No. No, no, they kiss. Oh boy, we could be here all day. Oh, anyway. That's the game. I like how you can just drag around. Very nice atmospheric music. Oh, yeah, guys. I guess that was it. I'm Ding saying this was casually slacking on Navbar TV with causality. Rate the video and follow the channel. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter at twitch.tv slash well on Twitter at Avibat and on Twitch at twitch.tv slash D-I-N-K-S-Y. Till next time.